All right, so in this video, I'll be talking about how to make generators quieter. Whether you have a big, loud generator or a inverter generator that doesn't make that much noise compared to those. There are ways to make them quieter, even these. First parts of the video, I'll just talk about things that you can do right now. The next part of the video I'll talk about is, especially for these generators, if you put a muffler on these, is it going to actually make a difference? I'll show you and you can hear the difference when putting a muffler on one of those generators. Is it worth all of the work? And you still have to buy the muffler. But if you have an old generator and you have a muffler at home, you might be able to do something. Also, quiet boxes, is it worth it? Do they work? This little generator, I'll also show you a little trick on how I reduced it a couple of decibels. Of course, these small inverter generators are a lot quieter than the bigger generators. But if you're camping and you just need the generator to not make that much noise, first thing to do would be to, you see this right here, exhaust? exhaust right there. Try to have that facing away from you. I know it just sounds simple, but that's where a lot of the noise is coming from. It's coming out of the exhaust. If you can have that just facing away from you, you should reduce a little bit of noise from also where you have the generator is important because if you have the generator in a space where I am standing with a wall behind you, I'm kind of in a corner. You can't really see it, but if you have the generator in a corner, it'll just start echoing. So you want to avoid that. You want to have the generator somewheres where there might just be one wall, but especially not two walls. You'll want to have it in an open space where there's a lot less of these deflections around because all of those noise deflections will make the generator sound louder than it actually is. So right here, I'm basically putting some wood. It will lower the decibel count of the generator. So the generator was around 90 decibels when I'm standing close to it. So if I come back with my sound meter after I've built this little apparatus, yes, my generator will be much quieter by a fair amount of decibels, as you can see. It not only lowers the decibels, but it also changes the noise. It changes it from being a higher pitch noise to being a more droning noise. So as you can see, this generator just shut off by itself. Now, this is a great thing because a lot of the newer generators on the market right now has an automatic shutoff if there is a buildup of CO2 gas. Now, of course, all of these examples are quite common sense, but it's something that you can at least just try at home. Another way that you can make the generators a little bit quieter is to add some sound deadening material inside the generator. Now, you have to be careful. You have to buy the right type of stuff and you have to put it in the right places. Looking in the video, I put some sound deadening material in one of my inverter generators and just to see if it would make it as quiet as this Honda. It did reduce the amount of decibels by one or two. If that's all that you need, then try it out. Video right there for the entire sound test before and after. At least you can see for yourself if it's something that's for you. If you already have a sub vehicle sound deadening material and a generator like this, try it out and let me know how it works out. Another really popular way to make the generator quiet is to stick a muffler right on it. On James Conan's YouTube channel, he installed a car muffler on a older, quite loud generator, and here's the results. I'll have a link of his full video in the description below. So you're able to hear the sound test. It reduced it by quite a few decibels, really. But the thing is, it requires a lot of work. You have to make it yourself. And the generator is not made to have an additional muffler on it. So power reduction, there's just a whole lot of things that can kind of go wrong if you try to add your own muffler. But if you have an old generator, you already have a muffler or you don't mind just paying 50 bucks to buy a muffler, then try it out. Let me know in the comment section below if it worked. And if you have a video, leave me the link. Another popular thing are generator quiet box. Standby generators, they're already in a built-in quiet box. However, you can buy quiet boxes for these generators. Typically not for these generators because it's they're already quiet. Yes, you can put those in a quiet box and they'll basically can't hear much of anything, but these generators, it'll drastically reduce the amount of noise that 
they create. One thing, however, they have to be ventilated because especially for these generators, the new ones, you'll have a carbon monoxide detector on it and it won't take long for the generator to just shut off inside your enclosure. Here on the Go Midwest Fishing YouTube channel, he built a generator quiet box DIY with some sound deadening material, some wood and a fan for ventilation. It's quite interesting because there's a lot of YouTube channels that build these types of a generator quiet box and some works, some works very well, but also some don't work that well. We'll see how his works. I'll have a link in the description below of the entire video. It's quite interesting how he built this thing, so make sure to check it out. The results for his generator quiet box were quite good. Now an inverted generator is already very quiet, but you can barely hear the thing, so I was impressed. I'm not sure how it would work for a bigger generator with a carbon monoxide detector. You might need some better airflow or your generator would continuously just turn off. So as you saw, those quiet box are not terribly difficult to build. However, you do have to have the right material. You have to have material that do not catch on fire. That is very important because these things can get hot in there. Things can go wrong and it can catch on fire. If you don't really feel like building a DIY generator enclosure, you can go ahead and buy a zombie box, but be warned, they cost upwards of a thousand dollars and well, it could also void your warranty, just like the DIY generators enclosures would void your warranty. The question is asked, does zombie box void warranty? As with any aftermarket product, even though tested safe, and proven not to affect the generator's operation, the use of these enclosures may alter or void your manufacturer's warranty. So just be warned, if you use either a DIY or even you go ahead and buy a thousand dollar generator enclosure, it could also void your warranty when it stops working, possibly because of one of these enclosures. Oh yes, and if you do decide to spend a lot of money on one of these zombie box, don't think that you can return it because you can't. They do not accept any refund. They have what's called this policy once you have their money you never give it back yeah so not for me if you're going to pay a thousand dollars for a quiet box and a few hundred dollars for a generator that powers your entire house go ahead and pay an extra thousand dollars on the generator and get an inverter generator that produces a lot of power. It's something to consider. If that's all you need, if you don't need a 12,000 watt generator and you can do with a 6,000 or 7,000 watt generator, then go ahead and buy those because most of the time it will be everything you need. This is overkill for me for what I have set up in this house, but the price was right. It was cheap. It makes a lot of noise, but I use it maybe once every couple of years just to power my house. This little thing is something that I like a lot more because it's a lot quieter. It's an inverter generator and it produces. So that's how you can make your generator a little bit quieter. Let me know in the comment section below if you were able to reduce at least a little bit of the noise coming from your generator. And if you have any soundproofing questions, let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.